It all started Friday afternoon. I was contemplating a lint on the bedroom floor while Elroy sized up his chances for winning this year's Insectathon. What are we gonna do, Blue? If we don't find a killer bug by Sunday, we're gonna lose the trophy. Gordon Smugs might even win! I was about to growl at the mention of Gordon Smugs' name when I was interrupted. Hey, Blue! I got email! Attention, drip face! From Gordon Smugs! Give it up! Take a hike! Don't even bother coming to the dead Daniel insect the dog! Cause guess what I found behind the sandwich shop on 52nd Street? A six inch long Hercules beetle! Oh no! A six inch long Hercules beetle? Yeah! Read it and weep, sucker! Kiss that grand prize trophy goodbye! Everybody knows last year was a fluke! It's time that trophy went back to its rightful owner, me! <laughs> Over and out! How are we ever gonna match that, Blue? No one had ever beaten a Hercules beetle in the Insectathon before, and the best thing Elroy had so far was a singing Egyptian cockroach, which are a dime a dozen in this city. We better get down to that alley right away. Sounded good to me. I like alley work. In fact, alley work is right up my alley. <laughs> <clears throat> just as we were leaving. Hi, Pumpkin. Mrs. Hicks just called. She's got the stomach flu, so she's not going to be able to stay with you while we're away this weekend. We were headed for another weekend of non-stop boredom on the Step Family Farm. No. Please, not the farm! Can't you just stay home? Elroy, this yoga retreat is very important to both of us. <laughs> you know how I get when I'm stiff. But, but, the 10th Annual Insectathon is on Sunday. I've got to be there. I'm sure there'll be another Insectathon next year. <laughs> next year? Next year! I'll die of humiliation by then. Now, Lamb Chop. Ah, uh, no. There is no way I'm leaving this city. You couldn't blast me out of here. Let's get the dynamite. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. Not even if you tied me up and gagged me! Next thing you know, we were heading for the country. Not only would we miss the Insectathon, but it seemed pretty obvious we'd never be able to catch the kind of hyper-mutated city bug it takes to bring a grand prize trophy home. Hey, you want some help there, young fella? Are you gonna do us a magic trick? <laughs> Very funny. We'll be back Sunday night. Love you, Snookums. Remember, focus on fun. Hey, hey, did I ever tell you about your step-uncle Sheldon's dog? Yeah, last time I was... Well, his name was Will Call. <laughs> Smartest dog you ever saw. He could add, subtract, and watch TV. <laughs> Uncle Sheldon even taught him to do his taxes. <laughs> yeah, short form, of course. <laughs> oh. The weekend was looking pretty darn bleak. Okay, well, I've got chores galore, so um, now I'll be back around sundown.
Hey, hey, do what you like, but remember my don't. Don't go in the tool shed. Yeah, don't go near the pond. Yeah, don't be chasing my prize chickens. And yeah, 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 don't underestimate the insect population. What? And another thing, it's Aunt May's birthday, so I baked her a cake. Oh, it took me all day to get it picture perfect. So, whatever you do, don't let that mangy mutt anywhere near it. Mangy mutt, I don't know, mangy mutt, you. Isopterus ruralis. Huh. There's hundreds of them. The minute the farmer left the house, Elroy went after a termite, and, and I, well, I, I, I couldn't help myself. I knew it was the wrong thing to do. I knew the consequences would be severe. But a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. best to keep calm. There. Now all we need an egg. No eggs! No eggs. Everything's going wrong. Gordon Smug's gonna get my trophy. <laughs> We're stuck out here with a bunch of <laughs> egg bugs. <laughs> and now you had to go and... <laughs> <laughs> I gently guided Elroy outside. Hey! That's my neck! Let go! Blue, how many times do I have to tell you? You're the dog and I'm the person. I'm supposed to drag you around the neck. Not, 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 not. Elroy acted out his frustration for several minutes, until he was interrupted. Hey! Get away! Wait a second! It was the bug to beat all bugs. Blue, this is a Technoloptera! A Technoloptera. Only one had ever been sighted. It was kind of like the Loch Ness Monster. Most experts doubted its existence. I always knew you were real. Wow! That must be a four megagram stink bomb. of his dreams, so did one of the farmer's overzealous chickens. So here we are, dumbfounded by our dilemma. We need an egg. We need an egg. You want the bug. But I want the bug. What'll I do, Blue? What'll we do? Yeah, looks like we got our hands full, huh? Oh, 
Where'd he go? We just well, yeah, well, I was just on my way back to the house to oh check on that purdy cake I baked. Uh, we've taken care of the. I mean, we we just checked on it. it it's fine. Yeah, well, okay, but looky here, what I found. Aren't them critters cute? Now, those are some good bugs. They keep the aphids from taking over. Yeah, they sure are pretty. Uh -huh. Boring. And yeah, wh what was that, Elroy? Uh-oh. Um, I said, um, wow. Wow. Those are some good bucks. Well, that's right, son. Now, I, now you stay out of trouble. Whew. That was a close one. Yeah, well, you can say that again. A real close one. Well, I didn't mean literally. We better get that egg and fix that cake quick. Mwah! Which way do you think we should go, Blue? Well, you call the shots. Hmm. <sighs> Holy Toledo! There must be eggs all over the place. You watch, Blue. I'll probably get blamed for this, too. Mm, you and me both. We gonna lay those eggs. Why, you no good bunch of pinhead chickens. Okay, Blue, we better find that egg. Where are we gonna look first? <laughs> Where am I gonna look first? Where could they be hiding those eggs, Blue? Well, if I knew, I'd tell you, believe me. Top of the morning to you, Norma. Laid any eggs lately? <laughs> Cheese! Oh. Sorry, Squirt. But seriously, Norma, I like you. And you know what happens to cows I like, Norma. Oats, Norma. Oats. Oats happens to cows I like. Think about it. Moo. No way an egg could survive that snot bath. Uh, huh?
This is what they call an artifact, Lou. Let's see if we can pick up anything interesting. And now for an update on this weekend's upcoming Insectathon. Gordon Smugs is the current favorite, having entered a six-inch long Hercules beetle in this Saturday's contest. Last year's winner has apparently left down and has no chance of retaining the trophy. That's what you think, Buster. Yeah, that's what you think. Let's try another station. Must be the Buddhist channel. The one Mom listens to. Boring. And then I mix the cauliflower in with the rutabaga. We're interrupting our regularly scheduled programming to bring you an urgent message. At approximately 6.25 this morning, a beetle believed to be the Technoloptera was captured by the Greater Central Valley Insect Authorities. Did you hear that, Blue? We caught the Technoloptera. No, oh, they couldn't have. The Technoloptera captured earlier this morning has escaped. I repeat, the Technoloptera captured earlier this morning has escaped. Most insect specialists believe the Technoloptera to be no more than a figment in the imagination of alarmists. Today's capture is the first sign in over 20 years that the beetle may actually exist. We still got a chance, Blue. Hooray! Apparently, the escape resulted from an underestimation of the Technoloptera's capabilities. Immediately after the Technoloptera was captured, she was placed in a jar with a perforated lid. According to authorities, the Technoloptera was able to perform a flight takeoff with such acceleration that a sonic boom was generated, breaking the jar and freeing the Technoloptera. The authorities are requesting that everyone in the area be on the lookout for this rare specimen. If you happen to catch this strange beetle, please use duct tape to reinforce the jar you place it in and contact the authorities immediately. More news as the story progresses. We now return to regularly scheduled programming. It's a good tip, Lou. Duct tape on the jar. Well, I never would have thought of that. But unless we take care of that cake problem, it won't matter if we catch the Technoloptera. <laughs> Where'd he go? Once again, we interrupt regularly scheduled programming to bring you an important news break regarding the Technoloptera. Authorities believe the beetle can fly a maximum of only four miles without refueling. Since it relies on a food source indigenous to this area and not available outside the greater Central Valley, authorities are convinced that the super beetle is still in the area. Please be on the lookout. Thank you for tuning in. That's good news, Blue. Yeah, yep. Let's get a move on. Hey, come here, come here, come here, chicken. The Bug Club for members only. Members only? Well, that's not very hospitable. I hereby proclaim us honorary members. I think you mean ornery members. Let's check it out. <laughs> Miserable foul. 
just say the word. Strange place. That's for sure. Give it up, bird brains. Special exhibit. Let's see how special. Those chickens might think I'd be too grossed out to look for an egg in this locust swarm. <laughs> no sorry. I have the distinct feeling this isn't going to be too pretty. No sign of an egg. Isn't this great? You know, in the mid-60s, a swarm of locusts just like this. Hit the plain of Selden in northern Nigeria. Four hours later, 75 square kilometers were total. Buried under an inch of insect excrement. Nasty. Pretty special. Let's keep looking, Blue. <coughs> the most dangerous insect in the world. Um, I think we ought to skip this one. It's just a scare tactic. Come on, Blue. The Technolopter is probably in there. Bummer. No Technolopter and no egg. Nothing but a housefly. You see, the common housefly really is the most dangerous insect in the world because it picks up germs and throws them up wherever it lands. Yeah. Delightful. Cholera, typhoid, bubonic plague. I have low tolerance for you, pal. I don't know what's worse about this place. Flies or chickens? <coughs> Elroy, what did I say about chasing my chickens? Oh, I can overlook a couple of slip-ups, but now you've gone overboard. But, sir, I... Now it'll be the rest of the weekend doing house chores for the two of you. Gordon Smugs defeats all in 10th Annual Insectathon. Last year's winners spend weekend darning farmers' socks.